Hi, my name is Tom and in this video I'm going to show you how to deal with supplier overpayments in QuickBooks Online. So at the moment I'm in the banking tab on the, the current bank account and we've got a payment to Aviva here for £1,100. If I take a look at the supplier account for Aviva, we are going to see a bill in here for £1,000. So we've accidentally made an overpayment of £100 on the bill. So the first step will be to match the payment to the bill. So as there's a difference in the amount between the payment and the bill, it won't show up as a match in the bank. You have to click onto the transaction and click find match here. And when we do that, the bill will then pop up. So when we tick the bill, it's only going to apply £1,000 of the payment. And we'll see we've got a difference here of £100. So I'm going to override that and put £1,100 on the bill and we'll see that the difference is now zero. So that will allow us to save the transaction. And if we now go back into the supplier account and take a look at Aviva again, we're going to see that there is an overpayment here of 100 pounds showing in the account. So the final step will be to deal with the refund now. So we've got the refund from Aviva and what we want to do is put Aviva in the supplier slash customer box and then in this one you'll want to select your creditors account this sometimes might be called accounts payable or something along those lines so in here we've got creditors for different currencies as well so I select creditors and when you select creditors no VAT will have to be selected on the account the VAT will have been dealt with on the bill anyway so we will select add there and the final stage now is just to link those 200 pounds extra transactions together. So if we go back into the supplier account one more time, find Aviva here, we then you'll see there's got zero pounds open, but there's 100 pounds overdue. So if I click new transaction and click expense, we then get the option on the right hand side to add the two transactions together and we'll get an amount of zero as the amount paid. So I click save and close. And we've now got a clear supplier account for Aviva with the overpayment and the refund dealt with together. Thank you for watching.